So this is a four-page document that was prepared by Republicans in the House Intelligence Committee, and it purports to allege abuses of the surveillance system in the early stages of the FBI's investigation into potential ties between the Trump campaign and Russia. So the central allegation is that a warrant that the FBI obtained in October 2016 to monitor the communications of a Trump campaign associate was based largely on a dossier of opposition research con uh, conducted by a former British spy, Christopher Steele. That research had been paid for in part by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Democratic National Committee. And the memo alleges that the FBI and the Justice Department in going to a judge to get that warrant did not reveal just how much of a source of information that dossier was. So it's clear that this is going to really escalate a conflict that we're seeing between the White House and the FBI and the Justice Department. Leaders of both the FBI and the Justice Department had actually directly personally appealed to the White House not to release this memo on grounds that it's cherry-picked information, it's inaccurate, it's stripped of critical context. The White House rejected that plea. So now you're obviously going to have a lot of raw tension between Chris Wray, who is Donald Trump's hand-picked FBI director, um, and also Rod Rosenstein, who is the president's hand-picked deputy attorney general. And the White House has really been advocating for the release of this because uh, the president has been looking for information that he believes could undermine or discredit uh, special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. This could be something that he points to. It is. This is an extraordinary moment that uh, I have never seen, and I think uh, you know, I, we generally have not seen, certainly from a committee like the House Intelligence Committee that, you know, is entrusted with sort of safeguarding classified information and, and um, sort of does not put that into the open. Some of what's contained in this memo is material that you would consider to be some of the nation's most closely held national security information. When the FBI um, goes to a secret foreign intelligence surveillance court to get a warrant to monitor somebody's communication, that application is never released publicly. That's not something that you can obtain through a public records request or go ask the government for and see it yourself. And so the idea that there's information from that that is then made public in this setting is, is really extraordinary. And so that's why it had been classified. And then the president today took the unusual step of declassifying it. One thing I would note, though, is this has nothing to do with the question of whether or not the president obstructed justice during the course of the Mueller investigation there's no part of that in here. And that, from our reporting, is what the clear focus of Mueller's investigation now is when it comes to the president.